for those of you working on a music topic as opposed to art, I've got plenty of information for the art, but the music is coming slowly together. I don't have a, have a sample for that yet, so I'm still working on it. So what I've put together is um, I'm going to be doing the sample on um, a song by Lorena McKennett. She's a Celtic musician. And the particular song I'm looking at is The Lady of Shalott, which is based on an 1833 poem by that same name. So what I'm going to be looking at here are the characteristics of Celtic music that I could choose from. All right, And throughout you'll see um, images of her album, album covers. So I have a basic definition of what Celtic music is that might help my readers. It's basically the music of these different countries, Wales, Isle of Man, Brittany, Galicia, Galicia parts of Spain, parts of Portugal. Um, and then there's some general characteristics. Um, and, and some of you might find your piece of music falls into a category that's a little more vague. It might be a little more difficult to work with. So what I've done here is gave some general characteristics, and then I've got a couple more slides of different ways I could approach it as well. Um, so I could choose as many of these characteristics as I, as I wanted to discuss in my um, evaluation of um, the Lady of Shalott. So um, often, these uh, songs are sung in Celtic or Gaelic languages, and I've had to decide if uh, my particular song does that. No. Okay. It often has single melodies, often updated traditional melodies. Okay, well that sort of fits mine. This is a traditional poem, um, but then uh, I would have to do a little more research and see if the melody that she chose to go along with her poem is traditional as well, or if it's something that she composed herself. Um, adapted to the countries to which it has immigrated. So, not so much. Uh, McKinnon is a, uh, a Canadian uh, musician, and you know Celtic music is is um, has traveled to a lot of places around the world, as I have here the Appalachians, for example, and um, yeah. So there's Celtic music in in um, Canada as well, but I don't really think that helps me any in my um, discussion of of this song. So. It's a characteristic for sure, but it doesn't have anything to do with the way I'm going to approach the song, so I'll probably ignore that one as well. And the th uh, last one here, mystical atmospheric feelings. Well, if you listen to her music, she definitely spins this sort of um, magical, mystical sort of vibe that you associate with Celtic, m with some kinds of Celtic music. So I might, I might leave that one on my list as well, although it might be hard to, to talk about. Right. So of, of these characteristics here, I really only have one that seems to kind of work. And again, I'd still have to research it to see if, if the melody is as traditional as the words. So let's see what else I found. Well, there are some characteristic themes of Celtic music. They're ballads, folk and fairy tales. They're about legendary or mythical figures. Um, there's often a theme about the, the loss of one's land, one's farm, one's country, to war, battle, famine, immigration, that sort of thing. Well, I could um, look at the lyrics of my particular song, The Lady of Shalott, and see how many of these fit. So maybe I'll have, um, maybe I'll choose this characteristic, and maybe I'll choose um, characteristic theme, so maybe that would be two of them. Or if I want to, I could write a whole essay just on the different kinds of themes in this particular song, right? So I can kind of do some mix and matching, or I can narrow it down. It just will depend on what the characteristics of your particular music genre are, all right? And finally, um, my last slide here is there's a use of traditional instruments, and I have some traditional Celtic instruments here. Um, Again, I, I might choose a few of these instruments and explain how they work, or I might just feel like, well, I can sort of say, yes, they use traditional instru instruments, the fiddle, the flute, the bagpipes are used in this piece of music. Not much of a paragraph there, right? There w wouldn't be a lot I could say. So as you're choosing your characteristics, make sure that um, as general or as specific as they are, that you have enough to say about the characteristic, or else there's not a lot of point. Right? Um, 
if if the traditional instruments is important and I might could get one paragraph on the tin whistle and one on bagpipes that's great too but you just don't want a teeny tiny paragraph that says yep check this off she uses traditional instruments right so as you think of your characteristics select ones that really give you something to talk about as you go through your essay and the last three images are just uh, if you want to look at these more closely in, in the attached PDF are just different images of Hunt's Lady of um, Shalott uh, Waterhouse has two different versions of the Lady of Shalott here as well um, so I might use these images in my um, music essay I might not. I haven't decided what I want to use yet. So here's my first uh, start. As we go through the next um, few activities, I'll try to take my, um, my, I guess you can kind of follow along with me as I do my essay on music. The art one is already finished, but here's a music example that will be complete as I go through. All right, so I hope that's helpful to you.